2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, as this next goal for starts the day, what are you thinking about their chances? Should be a lot of nerves. They got the lead. They've been sleeping on it overnight. That is never an easy thing to do. Almost an uncomfortable situation at times, but they are playing well, so they have that confidence going into the final round. But this is going to be a tough afternoon ahead. Let's get down to the action. And let's see what he can do here today. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. This shot is about 140 yards out. This one looks to be heading towards the green. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the first. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? The perfect leave. Uphill can be firm. A well hold. He'll take the birdie. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. And now that finds him in first place. And this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Time to tee off at the second. Looks like they've got the five wood. Out a boy. Good shot. Well, this would be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. Ball, don't deny him. Well, that's yeah, a bit disappointing. Putting for par. In she goes. Let's head to the next. And that fine play ensures they hold top spot on the leaderboard with John Rahm trailing in second place. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Well played, mate. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Yeah, I think he's got around 135. This one is all over it. He's looking for an early KO against Lydia after that. Wow, she's on the ropes and maybe down on the canvas if he continues. New Zealand's Lydia Ko setting up her next shot. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Let's get back to it, shall we? There's part of about six feet coming up. This is their look at birdie. Putt is underway. There it is. A 
And after that hole, they currently lead in first place with John Rahm in second. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Yes, Luke, you got out of bounds on the right-hand side that shouldn't come into play for the players, but those bunkers down the left-hand side certainly will. If you get a good tee shot away and you find the fairway, the second shot uphill to this par five, you can reach, but still lots of trouble lurking around this green. That should find the fairway. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. So far, so good. But well, what a start. This is impressive. Setting the tone early in this round. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. Wow, he let the big dog eat there, didn't he? Second shot here on the fifth. Oh. Well, you've got to give some credit there. That was the right club and the right line. Just a four footer remaining. That will drop and it will extend the lead. Unreal display this week with that wand. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Nicely done. Playing from around 230 yards. Opting for the three wood. All right, he's going with a little extra club. Gone against the caddy here. Let's see if it was the right shout. That might not have found the green there, Rich, but that is a brilliant play right up on the fringe. It's an aggressive play, Luke. Like to see it on this par five. Here's Lydia Ko. Oh, that's clutch. What a way to save your par. What an amazing play out of the greenside bunker. Up and in the hole. Nicely done. Oh, well played. That was sensational, Luke. Moments like that deserve another look. Perfect distance, perfectly judged, and look at that. Straight in the hole. Still in the lead now after that hole. 
And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Well, that's huge momentum they're bringing to this hole. Coming off the eagle, time to hit another good drive. Finally, you have a green that pitches back towards you ever so slightly, Luke, but still coming into it with a good six, five iron from 195 yards. It's still a difficult task to get it close. Going with the five iron here. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. That was special. Always nice to have a birdie putt. This one started out on a good line. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. John, you're down there. What's happening? Hey guys, we are checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the 15th. And here we are with the third shot. Didn't that look good for a long time? <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Now on the tee after a birdie, fired up and ready for more. Love this tee shot here, Luke. The fairway camera's pretty good from right to left, kicking the golf ball towards that bunker. So make sure to take one less club off this tee. From there, you make sure that you take enough club for your second shot to carry the front edge. If not, that golf ball will come falling back off the green into the drink. From around 140 yards here. That's a pretty handy shot. Phenomenal approach shot, that one. Phenomenal shot. Kick in birdie. Well done. Rich, good chance to get at this green in two. Yes, this player's found the fairway, and now they've got the opportunity to knock this on in two. Be wary of coming up short and left, obviously, in the water, but don't be anxious to miss it out to the right, especially in that bunker that's over in the middle of the green on the right-hand side. That really can wreak havoc with the players. Try and find the green at all costs with this second shot. A birdie putter waits. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. He's currently sitting in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Quality shot, that one. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Setting up here from about 165 yards. Opting for the 9-iron. Great looking shot, this. A oh, lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the ninth. It's just about three feet away. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Well, Rich, this is the pivotal final nine coming up, and the player's perfectly positioned. They've given themselves a chance. Uh, absolutely. You dream of being in this position. Ahead by a bunch with just a few holes to go. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. What a gargantuan tee shot.
John, do you have any info down there? Hello up there. We are checking in down here with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the 18th. Well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Okay, time to return to the action. Second shot here on the 10th hole. That should find the bunker. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. It needed to put some draw on that one, but just couldn't get it dialed in. Well, sometimes in the game, it gives you good breaks, and then you get bad ones. Unfortunately, this one's a bad one. Well, 13 footer coming up here. Make this, it'll add up. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Just didn't drop. And this one is for bogey. Well, they say a bogey pleases someone. The rest of the field buoyed now after that drop shot by our leader. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. The shot is looking good here. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? And from around 135 yards. Wow, that drive. That had so much air time, I didn't even know if it was coming down. Well, this one's going right at the flag. What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. A wonderful shot. A chance for birdie here on the 11th. And they'll tap this in for birdie. And that fine play ensures they hold top spot on the leaderboard with John Rahm trailing in second place. And this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Wonderfully played. Time for the second shot at the 12th. Oh, well done. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. That's a great putt to make, especially for an eagle. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. This hole is a par four. Trying to calm himself down after that eagle's last. Nicely done. That's a good-looking shot there. 
Second shot here on the 13th. Nicely done. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. Currently in first position. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. This is such a difficult hole because it, this tee shot lines you up over on the left-hand side where you'll find those bunkers. But if you bail out to the right, well, now you're running into a low area that you have a pretty difficult chip shot to a green that historically is the firmest and fastest on this golf course. Outstanding approach shot. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. He's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. That's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back to back bird is moving the right direction there, Luke. And after that hole, they currently lead in first place with John Rahm in second. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Strong par four, your dog legs from left to right. Don't miss it out to the right in that bunker. Not only are you hitting your second shot out of the trap, but also you've got some magnolia trees to deal with. This is a very difficult fairway to find because that fairway does chase away from you just over that bunker. This is a very strong par four. And what's in front of them there, Henny? This whole location for him, well, it's about 185 yards out. Yeah, good safe shot, this one. That should find the surface. This is one of those great ball-striking displays. Fairways and greens, a pleasure to watch. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. And that's for birdie. Well hold. What a great feeling being that far ahead with just four to play. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Now with the honor on a par five. In the lead and could extend it with a birdie or an eagle on this short hole. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. Rich, good chance to get at this green in two. Yes, this player's found the fairway, and now they've got the opportunity to knock this on in two. Be wary of coming up short and left, obviously, in the water, but don't be anxious to miss it out to the right, especially in that bunker that's over in the middle of the green on the right-hand side. That really can wreak havoc with the players. Try and find the green at all costs with this second shot. Oh, a 14-footer. It's good to make a few of these per round. This one's tracking. Well played.
And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. This hole causes more stress for the players, I think, than any other hole on the golf course, with possibly the exception of number three. This green is nearly impossible to find as it is so firm historically through the years. You find the green, you make your three, and you're smiling earlobe to earlobe. All right, facing a little up and down here to save the par. How close was that to going down? Lovely touch. Well played. Judging it beautifully. And that fine play ensures they hold top spot on the leaderboard with John Rahm trailing in second place. But this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. Oh, what a shot by our leader. I don't... That drive, he hit it so far, there's no divots in the fairway where he hit it. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Well, good-looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Well, you can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high caliber. Well, all that hard work, it's time to pay it off. Make this for the tournament. Rolling end. And there's your Arnold Palmer Invitational Champion. A stout performance on a very strong golf course. And that was a performance that the King would have loved to have seen there, Luke. What a great win by this player. And Henny, it goes without saying that this player dominated their rival today. Luke, while they've been out on the golf course, I've been cooking. Here, smell this. We've got to eat up. It's some humble pie. We shouldn't ever have doubted them. There was some spectacular golf out there, and it was a pleasure to watch. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.